I'm gonna show you how to get your opponents into an uncommon yet very powerful armbar. The same setup was shown to me at a seminar by the greatest of all time, Hodger Gracie. What's up everybody? My name is Patrick Ronan. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about Jiu Jitsu, start right now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Without further ado, let's jump straight into technique. My opponent is keeping a strong and tall posture inside of my guard. He's doing everything in his power to avoid my attacks. I start by breaking the grip he has over my collars. To do so, I roll up his sleeve to create a pocket for my fingers to go in. Then, I swim underneath his wrist with my outside arm and lock up a Kimura grip grabbing onto my own wrist. I follow by crunching into his grip to create tension. Then, I simply extend myself away while I push his end up and over my head for the break. Now, it's time to switch to my favorite control from closed guard, the arm wrap. To do so, I let go of my own wrist and rotate my hand in. I swim inside the loop as my head follows. At the same time, I crunch in and go to my side as I am pulling the remaining grip tight behind my head. Then, I simply wrap his right arm with my left, extend myself away to get more reach, and I grab the far collar. At this point, I let go of his sleeve as I need an extra hand to fix my grip and make the position extra tight. From this arm wrap, I have a plethora of techniques. This time, Nick is holding onto my leg for dear life. I can't get it out. This is the perfect time to do an arm bar. To be able to do this technique, I must keep myself sideways at all costs, as I can't have his head overing over me. For this, I have to karate chop his neck, creating a frame between us as I post on his side with my outside foot. I am not posting on the hips, but really onto his side and lat muscle. This last post is also the piece that would allow me to break his arm. Do not overlook this crucial detail. The finishing touch is near. All I have to do is to extend my gripping arm so it slides slowly over my opponent's elbow as I applied most of the pressure with the inside of my thigh. I am actually pressing down onto my own arm, which is pressing onto his. And that's it. Try it out and tell me what you think. Done right, it is a very strong and painful submission, trust me. I actually have an entire playlist about the close guard. I'll put a link to that right here, so you can go check it out right now. And to discover more awesome jiu-jitsu tricks, start right now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm Patrick Ronan. This video was shot in real time, and I am actually that slow.